Hello artists, it is so good to see you. I have missed you and I'm so excited to get back on our on our track of learning about Russia and the different art and architecture from that country. Now, this week we are going to start with St. Basil's Cathedral. It is one of the most beautiful structures in the world, in my opinion. It's colorful, it's bright, it's beautiful. It looks really complicated, but it's not. We're gonna break it down into basic shapes of rectangles and um, triangles and zigzags. And then what makes it special is the top of each building has a little poof on top. I think of it like a Hershey Kiss. Have you guys seen Hershey? You've eaten Hershey Kisses, right? It's actually one of my favorite candies. But here's what St. Basil's Cathedral looks like. Can you see that? I'm gonna show you again from above in a minute. But do you see how it has like a Hershey Kiss on top of the buildings or like a little poof of whipped cream, like a little dollop of whipped cream? Now this building was built long ago. It's a church, it's a cathedral. It was built by Czar, his name is um, Ivan the Fourth, but they know him as, he's more commonly known as Ivan the Terrible. He had a horrible um, reputation and that's what they called him was Ivan the Terrible. And he made this, he had this built, he commissioned it to um, celebrate his victories in um, war and um, war campaigns. So that's when he started building this. and. It's awfully beautiful to be celebrating um, victorious campaigns, isn't it? I think it's just one of the most lovely things and it looks all happy and brightly colored. Now, they didn't put the colors on it until between 1680 and 1848. That's when they started. It took that long. That's a long time, isn't it? What is that? That's almost 200 years to put all this beautiful color on there. Now. Here's an example of it, painted at, um, not painted, but a picture of it at night. You see those beautiful colors? Ah, oh, I just love it. And we're gonna be using bright colors in ours if you have crayons at home or colored pencils or paints or whatever. You're gonna be able to put whatever kind of color on yours that you like. Now, I just love it. This cathedral is built, it's made up of eight different towers, okay? Eight separate towers. And you do not have to draw eight on yours because really from this, this view, we see the one, two, three, four, five from this view. Because you've got to remember, there's some on the back side that you're not gonna see. So you can put as many as you want. You can show less than eight. You can show all eight. You could even show more because this is gonna be our version of St. Basil's Cathedral. We're not going to try to make it exactly like St. Basil's Cathedral because we're gonna take some creative liberties. I like to call it, if you've been in my class, um, if you're one of the students that gets to have me sometimes, I call it our artistic license. Just like mom and dad have a driver's license, we all have an artistic license. And that means that we have the right and the, and the privilege to change things and to add our own spin, to put our creative touches. So that means we can do it however we want. And so our artistic license is gonna give us the ability to change it around, maybe show six towers or five, whatever you feel like doing, okay? Now, originally this foundation was made up of white stone, okay? It, the foundation actually, see the base has got the white stone, but then the rest of it was built using red brick. Now most of the traditional architecture in Russia was used, was, was made of red brick back then. So that way they, com they combined both the white stone and the red brick. And then, like I said, later on they added in all that gorgeous color. So that's enough talking about this. I hope it gives you an idea of what um, we're gonna be doing. Here's another view of it. Isn't it beautiful? This one, it might show up a little more because it's not off the blue background, but look at that. You can choose to put yours against a nice dark night sky. Maybe you want yours to be um, during the daytime or just a white background. You choose. And then all of these beautiful colors we can look at and you can do whatever colors you want. You notice there is a lot of red and red brick showing, but you don't have to do that. You can do it how you want. 
So I'm excited. Let's get going. I'm going to switch the camera to the top so you can see from above and we're going to step by step draw it. Now that's all we're going to do in this video and then the next lesson will be about adding color and stuff, okay? But today we're just going to get it drawn little by little. Don't be intimidated. This is a really fun project. I can't wait to get going with you. Hello artists. All right, okay. All right, let's get going. Now I have turned my paper landscape, which is long ways this way. But this piece, this photograph was portrait. Now you can choose to do yours portrait because there are some tall towers on there if you like. But I chose to do my landscape today because I want to be able to show lots of details. Now I'm going to start with this shape right here. See that rectangle shape right down here on these bottom two? And I'm going to start it kind of small towards the bottom of my paper right down here. See how we've got that there? And then there's that little other square shape right beside it. Can y'all see that? So get yourself a rectangle and a square on your paper. These don't have to be perfect, right? It's going to be just great. You know what I'm already noticing? I really like this little triangle on top here, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm noticing it has two that come down like so. There's another part that goes back like that. Do you see that? It goes down and that way. And I'm going to connect it there. And guys, there's another triangle on top. So then I'm going to come up and down. There's another triangle. And I can see a little of that and a little of that. Now, if yours don't line up just perfectly, don't worry about it. It's still going to look great. And it's just a triangle in front of a triangle. And now there's one more rectangle off to the side here that I'm going to put right there. You know what I'm doing? I kind of got my lines messed up, didn't I? You know what I always do. I always thicken it up. And you know what? I'm going to go across and thicken all these up. You know why? It's the base. And the base is often a little bit in shadow. But you know what else the base needs to be? It needs to be heavy because it has to ground the whole drawing. It has to ground it. It has to hold it down in place. So I went ahead and put a thicker line down there to kind of make it look um, like it's got some weight and it's going to sit there. Now, the next step is we're going to start with our towers. Now look, the ones that are in front overlap the one that's behind. See that? So I'm going to start with this guy because he's the most in the front. And we're going to draw a, tra a rectangle coming up from right here. I'm going to go boom, boom, boom. That's a rectangle, all right. Now you're using pencil. You might choose to... Um, make yours a little more special because you, you can make some things bump out. I'm going to bump out anyway. I'm going to come right here and go like that. You guys see that? Oops. And I'm going to connect it right there. And then I'm going to connect it right there. And then because I've got those lines showing, I'm just going to kind of go through and make some patterns. And now we can't even tell those sidelines were there. Ha! <laughs> Pretty good trick, huh? The next step is I'm going to do it again right here, just adding some excitement and some interest to my tower. I'm going to add a stripe here because there's some stripes. I'm going to add some stripes here. I like that. You know what? On this one it's got like triangle shapes so I'm going to come up and I'm going to go triangle, triangle, triangle. And there's a little tiny door hiding in there and I'm going to black that door in and put it right there. Now you don't have to add that door and you don't have to add those triangles. You can do whatever shapes you want. But I thought that would be fun. The other thing I noticed on this tower was it had some bumps. Little scallops is what those are called. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to put a double row of scallops there. I like that. And then, believe it or not, there's another little stripe there. And I saw three more triangles. I like that. Boy, that's getting busy, isn't it? You don't have to add that many shapes. I'm just kind of working along as I go. Now the next shape comes out a little. So I'm going to come out and out just a little, guys. And I'm going to come and go 
It's an octagon, okay? Octagon, that means it has eight sides. So if you're feeling advanced, you can break it into four because this is half. But if you're not, you can just make a curve. You can go curve from there to there, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a dot here and a dot there and a dot there, and I'm gonna try to go boom, 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 boom. It looks curved anyway, doesn't it? If it were bigger, you'd be able to see more of an octagon, but it's small, so that's fine. And I'm gonna put a double line just because it makes it look extra special. And then guess what? It's time for the Hershey kiss or the cloud dollop of whipped cream. So I'm gonna find the middle. I'm gonna bring my finger up and I'm gonna give me a, give me a dot right there. See how I found my middle? Now I'm gonna come down and go boop. And that is my beauty. Now mine's a little squished. Look at this one. Theirs is a little taller. You can do it whichever way you want. I'm going with a squished one, it looks like. Now, I'm going to put a little dollop like that on top. And then I'm gonna have a dot. And then it comes up like that, and there's a little cross on top. Now, the next thing is, it has lots of stripes. Now, remember, our stripes are not going to go like this. So let's say that ours goes like this. Okay, it's not gonna go like that. Although, if you do do it like that, it's still pretty, isn't it? It's okay, but we're gonna follow the curve of the cathedral, and that's gonna make it look like it's really turning. So watch this now. I'm gonna come down the middle first and do it kind of like that. That's one stripe. And then I'm gonna put another stripe right there. Another one right there. Do you guys see how by doing, actually that one should be a little thicker. Do you see how by curving those lines it makes it looks like it's actually turning and it's actually rounded? So try that. If you want to get all crazy and put some more details in here, you can. That's kind of fun. I like it. Now, we've got this tower in there, right? Now, we're going, let's see, from this view, we can see one, two, three, four, five, six towers. So that's kind of how I'm going to draw it. Um, I'm going to do, let's do this little one behind next, okay? So let's get that little guy. And he's going to come from right here. And he kind of stair steps. So I'm going to come and go like that. And then I'm gonna come across and across. You guys see that? It's just like a little stair step. And then he has a little double stripe right there. And then it's like a little tower that comes up there and boom. And then I'm gonna give him a couple of stripes there and a couple of stripes there, just extra decoration. And you see how it just stair stepped up like a cake. Then it had a little tower. And then on top of that tower goes what? We're only gonna see one side of that Hershey Kiss. Now this one curves that way. You can decorate it however you want, okay? Now the next step is we're gonna have some little, these little shapes, if you want, you can add some scallops. And they just are right there. And that's just some more decoration. That's looking really nice. We got another one done. Now, we're gonna have another one that's gonna show up over here. And so let's come from right here, out of the side of this one, and we're gonna go over like that, and then down a little. And we're gonna stop right there, guys, because in front here is a bush or a tree. So I'm just gonna kinda come in See how I just kind of made a little? It's like little cloud shapes. I'm just filling it in. That's going to be, we'll color that in green later, and that's going to be, because we can't see him because he's behind a little shrub or tree. Okay? Now, on top of this one is some more, you guessed it, scallops and then we have a little part that comes up like that and like that it's kind of behind there and it shows up so now I'm gonna curve that line right here see that 
And now I'm going to go ahead and give it a double. Maybe another. Maybe another here. Now I'm totally drawing out of my imagination now because we're just decorating whatever we want. This one I did see had a triangle in front though. And this one had a little door right there. Okay. Guess what time it is? It's Hershey Kiss time. So I'm going to find the middle right over this little thing. Go up and I'm going to make my dot. I'm going to make this one taller. And I'm going to come down and go, whoop. And that one's behind that, so then it's going to kind of come down like that. And that's all we're going to see. Now, we can twist it again. Actually, I kind of got it a little funny, didn't I? But we're going to come down like this and twist it and twist it and twist it until it looks like that. And again, it has a little shape on top. It comes up to a dot and up to a little cross at the top. You know what, boys and girls? I made mine taller here and shorter there, and guess which one's really taller in real life? This one. But guess who doesn't really care? Me, because it still looks great, and I love it. Now, we're gonna do, so we've got three, one, two, three. We're gonna get one over here and one over here, and then the very last one we put in is gonna be our tall one. So I'm gonna skip a little space and kind of go behind here and I'm gonna come up and do another one of those stacked cakes. Are you ready? So I'm gonna leave a little space and I'm gonna go stacked cake, stacked cake, stacked cake, okay? And then we know what happens in those little stacked cake pieces, right? There's scallops. So let's put ourselves some scallops. That looks good, I like it. Now I'm a little bit bigger there, so I'm gonna maybe kinda of come around and give it a double. Just a little extra decoration. You don't have to, but that's kind of fun. Now comes the middle part of the tower. It's going to come from right here, up, up, and then it's going to come across, across, and I'm going to give it more stripes here. And it has some little windows, and this one is actually colored in. It's a door. Mm -hmm. Now you guys know what comes next. We're going to find the middle and go up and put a little dot. And then we're going to go whoop. And that's the top of that one. And it gets a little spot. And it gets a little cone and a dot and that and a little cross. Now this one is crisscrossed if you want. Now I'm going to show you an idea of that. Let's say you make yours crisscross, right? There we go. You don't want to go although if you did it still looks pretty, right? But if we follow the curves a little bit and curve and curve if you're feeling a little older and a little bit more advanced then curve that way it looks more like it's rounded in space, right? So you can do it that way if you're younger or if you feel that you really like the way that looks, which I think it still looks really cool. You could come back even later and put little polka dots on all the, the spots, right? Or you can make yours curve a little bit and then curve this way. All right, you know what? Our inspiration piece does not have little dots, but I like it. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to put little dots just like we did on that other one just because I think it's kind of fun. We can decorate these however we want. Remember I told you, you have an artistic license. You can do what you want with it. I like that. All right, so we need another one off to the side here, back behind here. So we're going to come up and then we're going to come across. And I'm going to give myself a few stripes there to make it interesting. I see another stripe down here on that one. Now we're going to come up again. We're going to come in a little and come up. And we're going to come over like that. And then we're going to bring it over here. Now this one has, if you bring a line down low, it has a bunch of scallops right here. Skinny tall ones you can add. You don't have to, but that's kind of what I'm doing. And then in the one that I'm seeing here, uh, that I'm looking at, it has triangles right there, so I added those. Now, the one I'm looking at, guys, has a door here, 
but I've got my kind of behind that tower so I'm just going to take my artistic license and I'm putting my door on that side just so it shows up better. <laughs> I like it that way. And now here is my other stripe and it's scallop time again. I'm going to put a big scallop right there and then I found that there was a line there that's going to connect them and I'm going to come in like another little layer of cake and I found smaller scallops right there. Now at the top of this one I found a rectangle. I'm going to come on across. I'm going to put a double line there. I'm going to put a line here because there are some little tiny windows there and there's some tall windows there. Guys, you can put rectangles, squares, windows, dots. You do not have to follow these patterns. I'm just giving you an idea. Again, we're going to find our center. And then we're going to put our dollop of whipped cream or our Hershey Kiss on top. It has a little spot. It has a bead. It's not a bead. It's a big globe, but it looks like a bead when you're looking at it small. Now this one is different. This one that I'm looking at has little spots through it, like spiky things. So I don't know exactly how to draw it, but I'm going to try it like this. I'm going to make my little swirls go like that. And then I'm just going to put little X's on it because that kind of looks like the top of all those little shapes that I just saw. Now you can do what you want, but I think that looks kind of cool. All right, I'm going to add part of one there. All right, guys, we've done it. We're just ready for the big one. Now we're only going to see parts behind there. So I'm going to come in and give myself a double row here. And then that has triangles in it. Now below that is a row and it has some of those archway doors. You can add whatever you want and let's say yours is closer together and you only have room for one archway door. That's okay. Maybe yours is wider and you've got room to show five. Use your artistic license. Fill it up the way you want, okay? I'm going to fill that up with a rectangle because I like the way that looks. Now Above that, I'm going to put some of those, uh, another one that's going to come here, and I'm going to put some of those triangles. I keep seeing these triangle shapes everywhere, so I'm going to put some of those, and I'm going to pretend there's a door right there, which there actually is. Look, guys. Actually, you know what, though? The door was there, and I was drawing those, but you just fill in. Fill in a rectangle, then put some shapes. So now we're getting to the top, so it's going to start showing. So we need, this is our center, right, probably? So we need to decide how wide it is. Mine's going to be this wide. So I'm going to go ahead and make it come across like that. So now I can see where it is. And I'm going to have a double line there and a skinny one there. And I'm going to come out there like I did on that other one. And I'm going to bring it around like that. I like this shape. Okay. Now this one had some poles on it, which I kind of like. Do you see that? So I'm going to bring down a little column. And it's going to be behind that, but I'm going to put stripes on my column. And I'm going to make one match over on this side. And I'm going to put some, that looks pretty good. And in the middle of those, I see a door with a triangle at the top and that. And then it has like a little dark place in the middle. That's kind of fun. Look, mine's starting to lean like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. That's actually in Italy, but. <laughs> I've got the Leaning Tower in St. Basil's, it looks like. Now, on top of this is a bunch of um, scalloped areas. So I'm going to put myself a little part here, and I'm going to come in, and I'm going to bring it up like that, and then I'm going to fill in with scallops because that's what I see, and I'm going to double them. Then I'm going to do another row. They've got circles here, I found. Then I'm going to bring more scallops in and I'm going to double them and I'm going to bring circles and then I'm going to scallop again. There's no right or wrong, but that looks kind of fun. I'm going to go back and go boing, boing, put a little dot in the middle of those. I like it. Now let's give ourselves another little stripe there. Then we've got some triangles here and then we're at the top. I'm running off the page, so I'm getting skinny here. And I'm going to put that at the very top and there's a tower that goes off. Maybe I should have turned my paper portrait, but you know what? I think we're okay. I think it's looking good. 
So there we go. We've got our St. Basil's Cathedral. And down in the very front here, if you look in front of these things, is another bush. So we can put another little bush here. This bush looks purple in my picture, which is kind of funny, isn't it? So I'm gonna put some bush right there. There's a statue here, but I'm just gonna draw the base of it. And there's a placard on it. You can draw the people on it if you want, but I'm gonna leave that off. I'm gonna put another little bush here, because there is one. Up in this one is a staircase that kind of goes in like that, and we can see all these stairs going in. That's kind of interesting. Over here is just some street and stuff, but since I don't, there's a, there's a, a, um, a street sign and a light. I'm gonna put that there. Okay, and then there's some, I'm gonna add another bush, even though there's not one, just to make it balance. Did y'all ever do that? Just add something again. That's my artistic license there, isn't it? I'm adding, and I'm gonna add another one over here, just to make it balance. When I color that in green, it's gonna be so pretty. I'm just squirreling it around. So there we go, there's our St. Basil's Cathedral. Now, you do yours, you can take more time. You can start with pencil, you can break it down. You can print these, I'm gonna have these down in your PDF section so you can look at them. And then you can look at each different tower. I'm also gonna have a little section where I show you just different towers. You do not have to do that tower and that one and that one, you can just do towers out of your imagination or towers that look like the St. Basil Towers or towers that look kind of like mine, which is a version of that. And then I want to see what you come up with. And this is all for the drawing part. Next lesson, we're going to paint these. And since we don't all have paints at home, you can color them with crayons. You can color them with colored pencils. Colored pencils actually work great because there's so many details. If you do have colored pencils, it's a good way to go. If you have watercolor paints, good way to go. If you don't, our next lesson that's gonna come out tomorrow, we are going to make our own paints out of spices from the spice cabinet. So we're gonna take things like paprika and mix it with a little water and then that's gonna make that um, red, um, the red clay brick, the red brick pattern color, okay? And we're gonna take some other spices out of our cabinets and see if we can't make our own paints out of what you have at home while you're at home this week, okay? Alrighty, I can't wait to see what you do. You guys are amazing. Goodbye, keep creating. See you tomorrow.